We produce over 5 billion stem cells a week, making us the largest manufacturer of mesenchymal stem cells in the world. I'm here for my both knees, legs, shoulders, arms, head, back. I mean, I had a, some bad snowboard wrecks, overshot a cliff, dropped my intestines through my stomach wall, messed my back up then, multiple broken ankles, broken wrists. Yeah, I got hit by a Lincoln Town car, broke my ankle and my neck. But the worst one for my back was I got slammed wrestling, fractured three vertebrae, broke two ribs, and separated my two floaters. But it happened while I was in Brazil. And so when I went to the hospital, my ribs hurt so bad, my Portuguese wasn't very good. That didn't, all I did was x-ray my ribs. I never had my back looked at. And then some years later, I got my back x-rayed and MRI. And the doctor came to me and he was like, hey, were you in like a car wreck or something? And I'm like, yeah, a bunch of them. Why, you know? He's like, well, on this side of your body. And it's, it was from getting slammed wrestling. The guy slipped and fell on top of me with both of our arms under me. And that fracture in my uh, vertebrae is what eventually kind of like cut through and caused my disc to rupture. So it's kind of stem like- stem cells help with that process? It's 100% fixed. 100%. 100%, I can do anything now. I haven't had any nerve pain in over three years since I had the procedure. How, how, did you, how many other things did you try before? You Everything, started? back surgery, chiropractic, spinal decompression, acupuncture, massage, ART, rolfing, you name it, TENS units. I tried anything I could possibly try. None of it worked till the stem cells. For this to make sense, you have to understand what stem cells are, how they're manufactured, and why they're helping people. Mesenchymal stem cells are cells that are multipotent cells that can turn into some other cells in the body. Mesenchymal stem cells impact the body by growing new tissue, growing new blood vessels. They have growth factors. They signal the immune system. Some people call them mesenchymal signaling cells. They signal the immune system to go to a specific area and heal and heal. For instance, I had a good friend who had a torn labrum. Uh, we injected the labrum tear with the mesenchymal stem cells and we had full growth back labrum repairing the torn labrum to its normal to how it was before the tear was there for instance we also inject herniated discs uh, with mesenchymal stem cells. We go directly into the disc. This signals the immune system to go to that area and heal uh, the herniation, relieving pressure off the spinal cord. We also do mesenchymal stem cells via IV. About 50% of those stem cells go to the lungs, so they will heal damaged areas in the lungs of, let's see, OPD's patients respond very well. We've also seen it grow back tissue uh, in the heart. Uh, what I mean by grow back tissue in the heart, it actually took a portion of the heart that wasn't pumping and uh, that portion of the heart started pumping as well. So it signals the immune system to go in and heal a specific area depending on, on what it is, the result. But they are uh, highly effective in many different uh, cases of musculoskeletal injuries. We're most known for herniated discs. We have a paper that's getting ready to come out uh, that's gonna show between 70 to 81% of the patients that got the stem cell injections in the disc. We have different scores and we're gonna be publishing that in a, in a peer reviewed journal. It really has a lot of different functions, a lot of different ways that it can help patients. And we see great success here at CPI and, and TAM Center. Stem cells aren't available in the U.S. because it would have to go through a clinical trial process. So the difference between the stem cells that we have uh, in Mexico and the stem cells we have in the United States is the stem cells that we use are expanded. So for instance, when you hear somebody saying they're getting stem cells in the United States, normally it's a Wharton's jelly product. And that Wharton's jelly product uh, has about 1% mesenchymal stem cells. For instance, when we give 10 million cells to a joint or 20 million cells to a joint, you're getting 10 to 20 million mesenchymal stem cells. I like to use the analogy, if you were drinking 1% orange juice, would you call it orange juice? It's not really a stem cell product. It has a lot of other growth factors and things that, that do well. And I think it's actually a good product that they use, but it's not really a mesenchymal stem cell product. When you get mesenchymal stem cells from us, you're getting the full amount that we tell you that you're getting. Yeah, so ultimately the mesenchymal stem cells are signaling the immune system to go in and heal a specific area. Or, you know, so if you're going into a disc, it's sending the immune system in to go and heal that area. There's argument whether they're, they're just signaling cells, how long they survive, and those type of things. Those we need to figure out one day, but we do know that it's sending the immune system in to heal that area. And you know, the longer that you can get cells to survive, you know, it's logical to think you're gonna get a better, you know, better response for that. Now basically the immune system's going to the area, your immune system 
can do a lot of healing. We just got to give it the right ingredients per se. We do hyperbaric oxygen while patients are here because you know we want to get that oxygen in the body. We want to push oxygen to parts of the body that don't only get it. We do pulse electromagnetic field therapy, which increases stem cells in the body as well. Ozone therapy, NAD therapy, increases ATP. We do a lot of things that are synergistic with the stem cells, you know, to get the best possible result for the patient. My experience with stem cells is I can breathe a lot better. It's really good for the lungs. About 50% of IV stem cells go to the lungs. So people with lung conditions seem to breathe a lot better. I've seen people with COPD, you know, breathe a lot better. I haven't done specific joint injections because I don't have you know, those type of uh, injuries right now, but I have done IV and, you know, just overall, you know, skin clear, overall well-being feels better and I can definitely breathe better. I had a friend who coming in for stem cells for his herniated disc and on Saturday he chopped off his thumb in a motorcycle chain, ripped it off. And so when he came here, we're like, ah, we might as well inject it with stem cells and see what happened. And uh, within three weeks, it largely grew back. It's not perfect now, uh, but he's got a little bit of a nail and he's got a lot more of a thumb than he had before. But you can read studies of people getting their the tips of their finger chopped off and some of it grows back. And our idea was we know that that's a kind of a stem cell rich area and that if we could inject the cells in that area as soon as the injury happened, we could have the best chance of, of getting it to grow even more. Well, I mean, it's a huge, so, so you take an umbilical cord lining and you make specific cell lines and then you use uh, different media and growth factors to grow the cells and they start growing in a dish and you, you're just giving it good quality uh, product to, to continue to grow. And it's a lot more complicated than that, but I'm not in the lab every day actually growing the cells. It's about 14 day process, start to finish, depending on exactly what we're doing. Sometimes seven day process, you know, that, that we have. In the stem cell industry, on what are the best stem cells? And, you know, we believe the umbilical cord lining and even Wharton jelly is, is the best because it's coming from the umbilical cord. It's a very young cell. If we were to take an autologous cell, let's say out of the bone marrow of your hip uh, and expand those, those cells are gonna be as old as you are as a patient. And so uh, we do believe the younger the cell, the better. So the umbilical cord line cell is the youngest ethically derived cell that uh, we can get. Do I think stem cells are a cure-all? I see a lot of companies out there marketing stem cells as a cure-all for all these different elements. And we really like to stay away from that because we don't believe it. We're not believing that stem cell is this magic bullet for autism or that it's gonna cure every autoimmune disease or that it's just this magic. That's not our, our experience, actually. We've treated patients with lots of different conditions and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't work. What we focus on specifically with stem cells are musculoskeletal skeletal issues like herniated discs or uh, torn labrums or injuries to the body. Uh, we also see it doing very well for lung conditions as well, which makes sense because about 50% of IV stem cells go to the lungs. We think it's great for overall health, but we don't see it as a magic bullet for a lot of these elements. So if someone has a specific issue, you know, they should they, they can do stem cells, but they should combine it with other modalities. Some that are standard of care, some that are more integrative as, as well. But it should really be a combination approach and anybody who's saying that stem cells are going to cure everything be really cautious of because i mean i'll have other people that i meet in the stem cell industry that are promising and they'll even say to me oh well don't you do this don't you do that and they're surprised when i say no and a lot of them are doing making a lot of money off of those things making those promises but it's not reality we treat more patients with mesenchymal stem cells than any facility in the world we've seen pretty much it all and is it good for overall health of those patients? Absolutely, but it's not a magic bullet. It's not going to cure all these different diseases magically. It really takes a combination approach, lifestyle changes, diet, exercise, good mental health, you know, in combination with something like stem cells to get the best possible result, but we don't at all see it as a, as a cure-all for everything. I see a lot of people doing that too, man. It's like, no, actually. Uh, we're the largest manufacturer of mesenchymal stem cells in the world, uh, producing about 5 billion mesenchymal stem cells a week and treating about 170 patients a month.